Alright people, welcome back to the card review. So today we are looking at Mirror Force Dragon, a card that a ton of people wanted me to look at and you know it's been a little bit of talk, a little bit of talk about it, so I'm gonna go ahead and review it and give my opinion of it. So Mirror Force Dragon is a light dragon fusion effect monster. Level 8, 2800 attack, 1200 defense. This card reads, must be special summoned with the fang of I think I I, I don't wanna say this incorrectly. Cause I, I reading it looks like Critius, but I think it's Creti Cree, like not Cree, but Cree. I think I don't know. I'm not, I'm not, I didn't really watch the original Yu-Gi-Oh like that, so I know. I know. Sue me. <laughs> anyway, yeah, something with the Fang of Critius, which I believe is a spell card. Let me go ahead and look at this. We're gonna get a double card review because I can't look at that card unless I look at this one. All right, the Fang of Critius is a normal spell card. It reads: This card is also treat. Always treated as legendary dragon Critias, all right, or Critias. That reads: Send from your hand or your side of the field to the graveyard one trap card listed on a fusion monster that can only be special summoned with the Fang of Critias. If if the, that card is set, reveal it and special summon that fusion monster from your extra deck. You can only activate one Fang of Critias per turn. Okay, so why isn't this a ritual monster because this seems like more of a ritual thing you know like you you activate the card the spell card you tribute the trap card for your cost of your ritual and then ritual stuff i guess they wanted to do that so this could be in the extra deck uh, uh okay because this seems like it should be a ritual monster but then if it was a ritual monster then you'd have to have this card in your hand and thing critias play this tribute the card on the field or in your hand the trap card and then summon this from your hand so you know they made they decided to make it a little bit easier despite this card leaning more towards being a ritual monster it's a fusion so at least it's in your extra deck so you at least you don't have to worry about drawing it and you know access to the extra deck is you know on par so all you need is the fang of critias and whatever the trap card is and you can go ahead and summon that particular monster that summoned from that trap card so of course mirror force dragon you gotta send the mirror force so you send a mirror force from your hand or your side of the field and you get to summon this Seems chill. So, back to uh, Mirror Force Dragon. Uh, special summon with Fang of Kritia, sending Mirror Force from your hand or your side field to the graveyard. It cannot be special summoned by other ways. Alright. That's a fact. During either player's turn, when a monster you control is targeted for an attack or an opponent's card effect, you can destroy all cards your opponent controls. That's a pretty powerful effect, I must admit. I must admit, that's very powerful. So, you know, if your opponent tries, and it, 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 it's not just this monster, any monster you control for attack or card, target by effect, you get to wipe their whole field. That, that, it's not just Mirror Force, where you, you know, all attack position monsters, no, you get to wipe, you know, attack position monsters, defense position monsters, set monsters, back row, pendulum scales, get rid of it all. All cards your opponent controls, all cards on their side of the field are gone. That is a very powerful effect, I must admit. So... You cannot attack over this monster unless you have Beals. You know, unless you have Beals and you have nothing else, you can go Beals, attack, and then this guy will be like, Oh, I'm gonna destroy him. He's like, well, I can't be destroyed. And then you run him over and he's dead. But, uh, uh he's also light, so you might want to watch out for Honest. But, uh, you can't target from attack, so you can't run him over unless you, you know, prepare to get wiped. And I believe that this card will wipe before... I wonder how this works. I wonder how this works. So, let's say you give a monster strong again. You attack... You declare your attack. This monster effect goes off to destroy all cards your opponent controls. Does the attack still go through, or does the or does the wipe occur? Because it says targeted for an attack, so that means you declared the attack at the monster. Does that mean that you wipe before the attack goes through? Let me see if there's any tips on this. But uh, no, and you can't target it. So if you try to cast out it, one on one, it nope, you're gonna get wiped. So. Uh, so it'd be summon 101, 101 effect, detach to target your crit, your mirror force dragon, mirror force dragon, destroy the 101, and he's gone because you don't have any materials to detach to save yourself, so you're just dead. So interesting, interesting. All right, so next, uh, pretty much you just got to uh, wipe it, wipe it. You gotta you gotta do some non-targeting destruction. So you know. You, you gotta summon Terra, you have to you have to summon Terra, pretty much. You have to summon Terra, Terra wipe, I'm just kidding. But no, Dark Hole, Regeki, uh, ironically, Mirror Force Dragon, get to beat my Mirror Force, Torrental. You know, non-targeting uh, ways of getting rid of it is your 
is the best way to handle this. So let's see if there's any tips. All right. So combo with Battle Mania or Savage Consume, they're forced your opponent to attack, so they're forced to attack, and then uh, pretty much you uh, wipe their field. Simple as that. All right. Uh, this card effect essentially renders any opposing number one of one silent honor useless since you destroy that monster before it gets attached. That's what I thought. Please note that the effect or attack that triggers this card effect will not be negated, such as uh, cards as Mystical Space Tomb or Compulsive Energy will still end up leaving the field. Yeah, okay. Also note that this card's current route has no restrictions on how many times per turn it can activate the effect. Okay. Counter this card using non targeting effects such as Dark Hole. Or by using cards that do target while you control few or no cards such as activating compulse while this is the only card you control so it doesn't negate it so that's like the what i said in the advice so if you compulse this monster sure your shit's still gonna make white but the monster's gone it's not like you negate it so ultimately you can simply attack this card using monsters that would be immune to destruction by card effects such as bills so there you go there's those are some tips so overall my opinion of it um I'd rather not. I'd really rather not. You know, I gotta run the, the Fang of Christmas and have the Mirror Force. You know, uh, neither one of those two cards are searchable. And, you know, I feel like I'd rather just use Mirror Force. With this, there's no surprise factor. Like, literally, I play Fang of Christmas, I get rid of the Mirror Force. You knew I had a Mirror Force. Some of this. You know it's on the field. You know exactly how to handle the situation. Uh, there's no surprise factor. Mirror Force, on the other hand, you know, Mirror Force can jump out the bushes and stab you. It's, you know, it's, a, you know, it's a trap card, a battle trap. You know, get your opponent, you know, surprise, here you go. So, I, I would I'd probably lean more towards just playing Mirror Force over, you know, running the Fender Critias and, you know, have, using space in my extra deck for this. I just haven't find it unnecessary. Like I said, if you want to kind of maybe devote a deck to it or, you know, splash it in, maybe you could do something with it. But, you know, it's just a good thing that it's a card that's usable with, like, that's with Mirror Force. You know, so the problem is, you know, John, you draw your Mirror Force. Mirror Force can be used, you know, if you when your opponent cards attack, you bam, you you got that Mirror Force, right? But the Fang of Critias, you know, you draw that, you got no Mirror Force, that's a dead draw, you know, so, you know, unless you got some Summoner Monks to pitch it, it's kind of dead. On the other hand, if you can get both, then you get this pretty cool and powerful monster. But, you know, there is no surprise factor, I can clearly see it on the field, so, uh, you know, it's just a matter of time before they probably, hopefully, deal with it, you know. I guess they, they, you know, with Dark Hall at two, or Gecky at one, Torrental, Mirror Force at three, you know, there's a, uh, there's a, there's a, there's ways, there's ways to get rid of it, you know, even if it's, you know, your opponent's up on resources with Gecky, you know, but, uh, you know, when your opponent ritual summons, the, well, when your opponent even activates the Fang of Critias, you, you, you warn the Fang of Critias, not the monster summon, uh, so, your opponent activates Fang of Critias, you know exactly what's coming, warning that, uh, when this card is summoned, uh, Bombless does not target, so, your, your opponent summons this, you bottomless it, bam, you know? So, uh, you know, I think Ring of Destruction targets, though. I really do. Uh, let me go ahead and see Ring of Destruction. Let's see if it targets. Yep, yep, it targets. So, your opponent summons this. If you have, you know, little to no other cards in the field, you can go ahead and activate Ring of Destruction. Sure, you're going to get wiped, your foe's going to be wiped, but you're still going to get rid of the Mirror Force Dragon. So there, there are ways to get rid of it, and you know, I'm not saying that this card's crap because there's ways to get rid of it, because, you know, the effect is actually very powerful. It's a very interesting effect, but, um, you know, it's not the end-all, be-all, you know, because we thought the same thing about Beals, and we've been handling that, you know, pretty diligently. So it's just kind of just a different way of handling, uh, you know, a similar situation. So uh, that's my opinion on Mirror Force Dragon. You know, I'm not even a big fan of Mirror Force right now, so... You know, running a card that I'm not a big fan of, i.e. Mirror Force, and then running, you know, Fang of who can, you know, which can easily clog you if you don't have Mirror Force. I'm just not, and this card, another card in your extra deck when, you know, we're barely squeezing in 15 cards to begin with. I'm just not a big fan of this card. I probably wouldn't run it. So, tell me what you guys think about Mirror Force Dragon. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Card Review. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys on Thursday with another card to look at. Alright, people. Thanks for watching.